a, a list of numbers and information here, and I would like to find out how many I have. So maybe it's how many people actually took the test. Um, it could be how many, how many ages do I have? How many remarks have people put in? So let's take a look how we're going to do that. And in this case, it's how many, so I'm counting. So we have a few different functions that can do this. I'm just going to look at three. One is count, the next one's count A, and the last one is count blank. Count blank, let's look at first. That one counts the number of cells that are blank. <laughs> so we start with equals, then we type in count, and you can see it's coming up with some suggestions. I want count blank. So I just double clicked on it and all I have to do is select a range. So I can go through and select the whole thing and it'll go, right, how many blank cells in here? And it gives me uh, the number seven. Now count, if I start this one, equals, oops, count. When I pause on these, <clears throat> or when I'm using my arrow keys, I should say, I, so when it's highlighted in the list, it gives me a definition. This one counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. So if I choose this one and then choose these, it's not going to tell me how many have words in, just numbers. Count A counts the number of cells that are not empty. So really opposite of count blank. And so it's now telling me that, there we go, I have 24 cells within this range that have something in them. Okay, and if I just wanted to say score in reparks, I could go do the first group, put a comma in, and then do the second group, and then it will tell me how many non-blanks are in these two columns, not including the age column. 